Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and finally I have some time to start testing all those new and updated legendary effects. I think that will be part one because there was a lot of changes and verify every single one will take a little bit, but now we are focusing mainly on prefixes for the weapons. Then let's go into it. And for the testing method build, those are the perks that will be equipped in here. Uh, oh, uh, it will be as well for the low health test, Nerd Rage will be used, they will be tested with low health and with high health of course, as Juggernaut should benefit you only at high health, then it's necessary to test at high health. Uh, for the testing purposes, I unequipped follow through as I want those testing to be easy and consistent and from my experience going with stealth, this basic setup seems to be the most indicative for which legendary effects are best. Although you can design more testing techniques, I'm just not able to follow every single one as this will take insane amount of time. Therefore, uh, now I have a bunch of fixers. First, that's a regular one crafted for comparison, 109 damage in the Pip-Boy. Uh, then we have a bloodied one, 148 damage in the Pip-Boy. Oh, all of them, uh, if you didn't notice, uh, are modded with just a standard stuff, like when you craft the fixer. Those are the mods that you get and I decided not to change them for testing. Uh, next, we have anti-armor, then of course base damage the same, but you have benefit of penetrating armor. After that, uh, this fixer is gourmands, which means eating and drinking helps you out. And that's 121 damage in Pip-Boy. Uh, next one is... Aristocrat, damage increases as caps increases and it's showing 133 damage in the pip boy what's quite close to bloodied for comparison bloodied was 148 and aristocrat 133 but of course damage in the pip boy is not everything that's why we'll be taking it on a field test uh, next we have a uh, mutants 121 in a pip boy next we have Juggernaut, more health, more damage, and surprisingly, even at low health, it's giving a little bit of extra damage. Then that's worth to mention. And lastly, we have Mutant Slayer. 50% extra damage to super mutants, and of course, we'll be facing super mutants. Uh, I'm not testing the second and third star here. I will be mostly doing a hip fire and counting bullets. That's like the most reliable uh, test I can figure out at this moment. Then let's start with a regular fixer. Let's see how many bullets will be required to put down a super mutant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's actually seven and a little bit. For a regular one, there for comparison, bloodied. Uh, let's take the doggo out of the way. Doggo doesn't count. We need super mutants level 100 for the testing. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then definitely you can see improvement in here. That's the that's the baseline. That's this is nothing and good old bloodied. And now we are comparing it with other stuff. Uh, not the anti armor. Uh, anti armor will be used for full health test comparison. Now we go for Gormans, hunger and thirst meters. Just let me make sure those are full. Oh, they a little bit dropped. Uh, let me pop a perfect bubble gum to be absolutely sure nothing will happen in here i wanted to have max out food bar and test bar okay let's count the shots with gourmands one two three four five six seven better than nothing not as good as bloodied next on the list we go juggernaut just for the sake of testing, let's see how much, how well it does on the bloody range. It will be one, oh, stop running, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven shots as well. And now we have mutant slayers. And of course we are not aiming, then this is not taking effect. Let's find another super mutant. Is it the best to kill super mutants or not? Let's see this one. One, two, three, four, five, six shots. That's good. Six shot is like a bloodied. Next on our list, we go for aristocrats. Let's see how well this is doing. Aristocrats. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it's the same as Mutant Slayer, which means it's a really good one. It's 50% damage just for having the caps. By the way, if you missed it before, I do have caps. Where is it? Here, over 30,000, and that's a full boost from Aristocrats. And the last on our list, it's Mutants. Extra damage for each mutation. And we have a volunteer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots. Then I think they perform about as expected. Now it's time to heal up and see at full health. Now we are exactly at full health. And let's start with a first test regular fixer. There's a super mutant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shots. Regular fixer, ten shots. Now we are comparing that to anti armor. That will be our baseline. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shots. Now we test again the Gormans. Let's see how this will go. Okay, Gormans, here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shots, worse than eight anti armor. And now let's go with the mutants. Let's try on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shots. Yeah, not, not amazing result, nine shots. Next one is mutant slayers. Okay, now we have a mutant slayers one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shots. Eight shot with mutant slayers. Now let's see aristocrats again. Aristocrats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shots. Confirmed, the same. And the last one we have juggernauts. More damage as health increases, and of course we are at Almost full health because I was shot and purified water, please. Now at full health. One. It's coming out. Get out. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fortunately, nothing special. No surprises. Nine. And that will conclude the testing. Unfortunately, no surprises, nothing performed better than intended. Therefore, still the number one will be bloodied and then anti-armor. Those two are still the strongest effect, but we have addition of aristocrats. Aristocrats was doing really well. Then it is a new effect that will be most likely sick after. And Mutant Slayers is definitely improved as performs exactly the same as Aristocrats. And I know that sometimes the results can be different if you use energy weapons. Therefore, guys, if you have experience already with energy weapons and those new prefixes, if you found out that any of those is working better than intended, let me know and I will test. I can confirm that in case of ballistic weapons, all those prefixes are working as in the patch notes. Then. Yeah, nothing, nothing surprising here, but it's good to confirm they are working. Oh, as well, I was testing before Berserkers and they said they buff it. Unfortunately, I don't have Fixer to include it in this comparison, but I cannot really see any buff. Like, it's still working at zero armor, the best, and it's doing damage, but where is this improvement? I don't know, I cannot see it. It's supposed to be stronger now. It, at least from my first test, doesn't seem like it's the case. Then yeah, Berserker is still not good. It's to sacrifice so much to get so little in exchange. It's much better to just go for aristocrats and get the bonus without any sacrifices. You just need to be rich. What's easy in this game. But that being said, those are basically all new and updated prefixes tested. Let me know if you have any questions. I will answer them in comment section. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.